Coffin Road presents A Creature of Habit by Ambrose Bierce. Narrated by Ryan Marshall. At Holly's Bar, a mining camp near Virginia City, Montana, a gambler named Henry Graham, but commonly known as Gray Hank, met a miner named Dreyfus one day, with whom he had had a dispute the previous night about a game of cards, and asked him into a bar room to have a drink. The unfortunate miner, taking this as an overture of peace, gladly accepted. They stood at the counter, and while Dreyfus was in the act of drinking, Graham shot him dead. This was in 1865. Within an hour after the murder, Graham was in the hands of the vigilantes, and that evening at sunset, after a fair if informal trial, he was hanged to the limb of a tree which grew upon a little eminence within sight of the whole camp. The original intention had been to string him up, as is customary in such affairs, and with a view to that operation, the long rope had been thrown over the limb, while a dozen pair of hands were ready to hoist away. For some reason this plan was abandoned. The free end of the rope was made fast to a bush, and the victim compelled to stand on the back of a horse, which at the cut of a whip sprang from under him, leaving him swinging. When steadied, his feet were about eighteen inches from the earth. The body remained suspended for exactly half an hour, the greater part of the crowd remaining about it. Then the judge ordered it taken down. The rope was untied from the bush, and two men stood by to lower away. The moment the feet came squarely upon the ground, the men engaged in lowering, thinking doubtless that those standing about the body had hold of it to support it, let go the rope. The body at once ran quickly forward toward the main part of the crowd, the rope paying out as it went. The head rolled from side to side, the eyes and tongue protruding, the face ghastly purple, the lips covered with bloody froth. With cries of horror, the crowd ran hither and thither, stumbling, falling over one another, cursing. In and out among them, over the fallen, coming into collision with others, the horrible dead man pranced. His feet lifted so high at each step that his knees struck his breast, his tongue swinging like that of a panting dog, the foam flying in flakes from his swollen lips. The deepening twilight added its terror to the scene and men fled from the spot, not daring to look behind. Straight into this confusion, from the outskirts of the crowd, walked with rapid steps the tall figure of a man, whom all who saw instantly recognized as a master spirit. This was Dr. Arnold Spear, who with two other physicians had pronounced the man dead and had been retiring to the camp. He moved as directly toward the dead man as the now somewhat less rapid and erratic movements of the latter would permit, and seized him in his arms. Encouraged by this, a score of men sprang shouting to the free end of the rope, which had not been drawn entirely over the limb, and laid hold of it, intending to make a finish of their work. They ran with it toward the bush to which it had been fastened, but there was no resistance. The physician had cut it from the murderer's neck. In a moment the body was lying on its back, with composed limbs and face upturned to the kindling stars, in the motionless rigidity appropriate to death. The hanging had been done well enough. The neck was broken. The dead are creatures of habit, said Dr. Spear. A corpse which when on its feet will walk and run will lie still when placed on its back. Thank you for listening to this Coffin Road production of A Creature of Habit by Ambrose Bierce. Narrated and produced by Ryan Marshall. Theme music composed by Andrei Sitkov. For more horror and weird fiction audiobooks, please visit coffinroad.bandcamp.com. Recorded and published in Canada. Production copyright 2024, Coffin Road. All rights reserved. Thank you once again for listening to Coffin Road.